Hi everyone, I'm Dave Giancola, joined again by Mike Trosel for History Makers. Chicago Golf Club was always going to be the site of history in July 2018, with some of the most legendary names in the game congregating there to compete in the inaugural U.S. Senior Women's Open. Dave, 1987 U.S. Women's Open champion Laura Davies decided not to stop there, turning in a performance that is sure to be part of the record books for a long time. Tied for the lead after two rounds, Davies ran away from the field that weekend, eventually topping fellow Hall of Famer and U.S. Women's Open champion Julie Inkster by an astounding 10 strokes. Let's take a look at that legendary victory at Chicago Golf Club. Good stroke there, a little right to left or up the hill. And Davies is now three under on the golf course. Good one, beauty. Striped. She went down to pick up the tee. She forgot she had <laughs> kicked it in there with her sandwich. But she's buried this hole the first two days, and that drive will give her an easy chance to reach this green in two. It was a ripper, lad. That was a five iron. Boy, I almost hit the flag stick in one bounce and see if this ball can stay on the surface. One of the deepest greens on the on the golf course at 44 paces. Yeah. Almost to 90, got a chance. He's got a chance. A bomb for Davies <laughs> from Western Illinois. What an eagle. Did that be the barrel? That was right in the middle of the barrel. Second eagle of the week for Laura Davies, and all of a sudden she is five under on a round, nine under in this championship, and the highlight of the week right there at the 12th. Take one more look at this. All the way across the green for Eagle. And it's just impossible to do it better. That took eight seconds. That was such a long putt. What a reaction. Perfect speed, perfect read. Short one here for Julie Inkster. Get up and in there, good birdie. All of a sudden, she finds herself six shots back. Always great to see as we head out to the 13th and our leader, Davies, here at the par three. Well, she likes to play a draw here, a tougher shot for her with a flag stick on the right. Yeah, don't let her know that. Right over the flag stick and we'll see if Davies can knock this in for birdie at 13 and get the 10 under. bit wishy on that stroke. Boy, just had a chance to put some more pressure. Turn into a little match play here in this final grouping. Carry. Oh, carry. Oh, she's going to have trouble carrying that bunker. She got it over there within the left rough, and that'll be a tough shot from that rough to get it close to that hole location. A pitching wedge here. Tough shot to get aggressive with. It's fine and there. It's fine there. You heard her caddy. In other words, Nicole's predicting she's going to leave this short. <laughs> Looking stroke there, and she gets a great birdie there for Julie. Two birdies in her last three holes, and the putter has woke up here on the second nine. Bogey free, three under on the day. Yesterday in 32 the first day, and now another one putt green. That's 
Six one putt greens for days and obviously the big difference in her scoring. Interesting choice, two holes in a row to go with an iron. She's the longest hitter. She can also be one of the wildest hitters out here. And certainly strong enough to hit. This is gonna be a seven iron from 164 yards. Looking right at a lot like Bubba Watts, a lot of curveballs in her game here towards the flag and shaping her shots. This is going to be a slow putt up the hill. Oh. Oh, she's in that groove right now. We talked about it, that's now her seventh one putt dream today. Look at how many threes there. Five threes on this. Inward half. Now Davies at 16. And this is a drive she needs to keep up the left side of the fairway. Oh, fairway kicks right. Ten. Oh, not again. Not again, maybe meaning that bunker. In that right side, it's 250. Just needs to keep it left to avoid those overhanging trees on the right. Well, you see that transition at the top of the swing where that club lays back and gets underneath there and that shaft is so shallow that the club is coming in so shallow you didn't even see her hit any sand there. It's kind of like Sandy Lyle in a way. Laura Davies, this her third. And this is gonna be an eight iron from 138 yards. The difficulty with these back locations when the green soft she really can't bring that back edge into play because long is no good yeah that's one of those toe rolling over the heel hit it off the center of the club face a little bit Just needed a little bit more, but pars are good when you have a six shot lead. Even I know that. I don't want to hear what Brad Faxon has to say about my golf game, but that is a par for Davies as she'll head to the 18. I think Laura Davies hits it farther than you do. <laughs> See, I, knew, I knew it was coming. <laughs> Actually, it was coming. nobody hits it as far as you do. I think the psychology behind not using an actual peg is you don't have to hit up on the ball. The feeling that you're hitting more level or down for some of the players that don't like to see a straight face helps them hit it straighter. Going with one less club, this is a seven iron from 169 yards. A little club twirl. She's just flying that ball all the way back there. Just the power to fly up there, control them. Is that enough? Eagle for Inkster. Will that be the spark she needs? Arm up in the air. What a back nine for Julie Inkster. Putter asleep. Most of the week, it was the putt on 10 that got her going, and Inkster around the five under par 68. She hit it. That looked like a little bit of a short backstroke and a hurry up follow through, but a birdie nonetheless. Davies around up 66, seven under par. And a hug to Inkster. They'll be battling it out tomorrow. The par five, this for Birdie. This would extend the lead to eight. Pick it, Pick it. 
Yeah, feed or something. Fade or something. Still the shot, mate. Talking to her ball, getting it to turn a little bit to the right towards the center of the green. That's a tapping compared to the putt she made yesterday for Eagle on this hole. Is it dying yet? Come on. Just beautiful touch here for Davies to caress that thing down the hill. You heard Nicole mention the ridge. There's so many of these ridges in this. Yeah. Well, Davies, five under on this hole for the week. Taking very little time. Good putt. I think the only thing that's going to make Laura Davies upset at the end of this week is she she really wanted Croatia to lose in the World Cup because Croatia beat her team England in the semifinals. So I'm sure she already knows France was the winner. Uh, hold it. She missed it left yesterday. Kick it straight. Stay. It's all right. Yeah, it's back yeah, on the fairway. She got it to just carry off the right. first cut there and down that left side. And we'll go to our leader back at 14, Laura Davies. This is a wedge from 112 yards. Sorry, hit a few of those one-hander shots where she's releasing the club quickly. I think she just. A good speed. Well, she's the only player in the field under par in the par fours this week. to lose ground and not making bogeys. She's in complete control here at Chicago Golf Club. We saw Davies do this a lot on the second nine yesterday. Just play for position. She's got so much speed and power. Oh, get down. Sit. Trovic's ball at the 17th. It was actually a pretty entertaining experience. Davies third here at 15. Well, I know Julie Inkster's mind is thinking, you know, if I can make birdie here and Davies makes a bogey, it's going to get me two shots closer. And yeah. How about that par save. Jeez. 29 holes, not a square on the card. You all smiles just to go back quickly to Leach. Top 20 and ties and the low amateur will be invited back next year to the U.S. Senior Women's Open. So Leach will get an invite. Beautiful. Lifted up on the backswing. Tight little draw. Watch that thing run out. There's a bunker down the right side in this hole that the players have to avoid. They can easily reach it. With a good drive, hard to carry, over 260 yards to carry the right bunker, but that's the right angle. Ten. Ah. Turn a little bit. I mentioned she's 12 under on the par fives this week, but she yeah, hasn't no? made a yeah. four yet here. No. It's not too bad there. You know, lob that on the green and get it close. Just a really open club phase, a beautiful right looking shot. lob shot there. And we'll have that putt to get to 15 under par. Yeah. Yeah. First birdie here, the week and puts her at 15 under par. And he 
chance if Ingster misses this to be 10 shots clear. Four under over this final round, bogey free. Oh. Here's that two iron. I don't think she hit that as solidly as she'd like. And gets in the left rough, but again, she's got plenty of room to fly it over those bunkers and then run it up to that back hole location. To shoot the bounce go for the bunker. When it's your week, it's your week. Not that it would have mattered if it went in, but just can't play that shot. Chance for a birdie. You got to smile when that happens. Players plumb bob anymore. And you don't see many players finish like this without marking the ball from this distance. And it, it just goes to show her attitude, the way Nicole Castrali mentioned her approach. And it's not right or wrong, it's just different. I mean, there's the grinders that have done so well, like Jack Nicholas and Julie Inksters. And then I would say Laura Davies and someone like Rory McElroy have similar ways they play and practice and love the game, love to compete. under par on every round. How about finish it in style? Well, you know, John Moran, that club historian, we ran those pictures of all the champions here from Chicago Golf Club. He mentioned that if Laura Davies wins here, which she's obviously going to do, she'll be the third person from England to have won there. champion and she does it in style 10 shot victory closing 68 Thank you. Thank you. and a hug from a hall of famer for their great dedication and generosity in helping to make this inaugural senior women's open truly special by allowing us to conduct it on this iconic golf course. In addition, this championship would not have been possible without the tireless work of our volunteers, the phenomenal support from all you fans and from the golf community from around the world, and most of all, the enthusiastic participation by all of the remarkable women whose amazing golf talents inspired us all this week. And now, for the first time ever, the U.S. Senior Women's Open Trophy. It is now my honor to present the medal for low amateur in the inaugural U.S. Senior Women's Open Championship. Congratulations to Martha Leach. <laughs> 
since 1894, we have awarded a gold medal to all of our open champions. And today marks the start of a wonderful new tradition. We are thrilled to present this magnificent new trophy to the first ever champion of the U.S. Senior Women's Open, Laura Davies. How much fun did you have this week? I had great fun this week. Today wasn't so much. Uh, that big lead didn't sleep very well last night. Luckily got off to a good start. But, but everything that's happened for all of us, all the players, the way Chicago Golf Club's welcomed us, the USGA put on a spectacular event. I mean, it really is. The, the galleries that have come out, um, just sensational, really, to see a bunch of old birds play golf. So that was really awesome. <laughs> You, you all have got, got some game. game. Julie, Julie Angst, who played alongside her today, against her today, had to bring back some amazing memories, didn't it? Absolutely, yeah. She's such a competitor, and she started throwing those birdies at me around the turn, and that's when I hit a few really little bit ropey shots, got away with them, had a couple of good two parts, but she uh, she never lets go. She's always there. She's, she's one of the best competitors in all sport, let alone women's golf. You mentioned Chicago Golf Club was a tremendous host this week. How much fun and what kind of a treat was it to play this course? Well, you used the right word. It was a treat. I mean, not, not everyone gets to play here, so we feel privileged for that. But the condition, I'm assuming the condition's always like this, but it's been spectacular. The greens were like carpets. You didn't need to be in the long rough. That was, that was a little bit tricky. It was in there a few times. But over, overall, I mean, the, the way they welcomed us, like I said earlier, it's, it's just incredible. A wonderful, wonderful week for you, you and all the other, other women who paved the way in women's golf at this inaugural, inaugural championship. championship. Thank, Thank you and congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 U.S. Senior Women's, women's Open champion, champion, Laura Davies. Shane. Thank you, Holly. First name on that trophy will be Laura Davies.